Hello, my name is Alan Jackson and I am the Customer Support Manager at Cyber Optic Semiconductor. And what we do here at Cyber Optic Semiconductor is produce and develop and market the WaferSense line of wireless wafer-like metrology wafers. Uh, specifically, we have a number of wafers uh, that do a number of different uh, tasks in the semiconductor process, uh, semiconductor process and in the fab. And the one I have here in my hand is our newest in the WaferSense line. It's the WaferSense AVS uh, vibration detection wafer. What our AVS wafer does is it measures vibration in both X, Y, and Z space. Uh, a wafer sense products come in 200 and 300 millimeter sizes, and wafer sense devices are meant to be handled like ordinary wafers using automation. And they can be placed in FOOPs, uh, handled by end effectors. They are meant to go into process chambers. They're vacuum compatible. And they're wireless uh, using Bluetooth technology. Uh, in the case of uh, this AVS here, I've plugged in my link box uh, to a USB port on a Windows compatible system, either a laptop or the tool console, uh, USB. Uh, it, WaferSense products run on Windows 2000 through Windows 7, so basically any fairly modern uh, Microsoft operating system, Windows operating system. Uh, now the benefits that AVS provide are very important and very meaningful to for equipment maintenance. Uh, AVS is used to troubleshoot and predict robot transfer failures before they happen because they'll pick up ball bearings going loose. They uh, identify wafer scraping and dragging that impacts yield. Uh, they reduce, which in turn will cause particle generation and wafer damage and reduce yields. And, and they verify acceptable go, no go tool conditions. With AVS, it's possible to tell if the tool is able to go into production. And they can characterize uh, transfer process speeds and do analysis of, of increasing throughput and the effect on the wafers. Uh, there are two software programs that come with the AVS, Vibe View to record the and observe vibration and Vibe Review to, to record back and analyze stored vibration signature files. So AVS measures an X, Y, and Z and also has a root mean squared, which you see displayed here. Also it has a time domain and frequency domain using the FTT algorithm. So we'll simulate some Vibrations here, moving through the tool, and you'll see uh, the time domain data in the three axis plus root mean square and plus uh, frequency analysis. Uh, very useful, very useful in uh, measuring the health of the tool and the wafer handling. Uh, there are many display options. You can set the scale, you can set the speed, uh, you can show frequency spectrum or not, you can just go with time domain. Uh, typically how AVS is used in practice is you would set AVS up to run a series, a specific move or a series of moves in your tool and you would record those. So I'm going to start the record. So right now the move is is being recorded. It records an AVS data file format which is proprietary AVS format and also in CSV format. So any application such as Excel or Jump which supports CSV file format, uh, AVS data can be exported. Uh, AVS samples at 1000 times a second. 
so it's going to get very good data for uh, analysis into uh, any application which supports CSV. Now once the recording is finished, uh, it's read in another application called Vibe Review. So I'm going to pull up Vibe Review and I'll pull up the file and we'll, we'll play the file back. And what I have here is I've set some go no-go triggers. And so what we have that's where the green bars are here. So if the go no go is exceeded, then the the red bars will turn or the green bars will turn red. Uh, like like there. And also we have the compare feature and that does the overlay. So what we have here is uh, Another signature, typically we have the reference signature, which is a golden vibration signature of a known good tool, a known good movement, and then our test signature, what we're comparing against. And using the compare and overlay feature of uh, Vibe Review, the signals are matched up uh, and queued up. And from there, analysis uh, takes place. Uh, you look for excursions. Uh, with frequency analysis, you can tell if ball bearings are going out, if there's harmonics that weren't there before. You can tell if uh, some part of the tool or some part of the, the wafer transfer throughout the tool or throughout the fab has changed, which might indicate an early sign of components going out, which in turn require maintenance or which could cause wafer damage or particle uh, generation. Uh, many, many features, uh, triggers, you can set filters, FTT sample size, it's set different formats, G-Force, GALS, Energy, um, just a very, very useful tool and very popular with both OEMs and FABs alike. For more information on any wafer, AVS or any WaferSense device, please contact CyberOptic Semiconductor. Thank you.